My name is Tam Fiofori. I'm from uh, River State in the Niger Delta of Nigeria. I'm a photographer, basically a documentary photographer. I go further to describe myself as a full frame available light photographer. In other words, I do not crop. I mean, when I take a photograph, it, that's it. And then I work only with available light. And for me, documentary photography, you know, gives me, it's a challenge, gives me an opportunity to shoot in what I call a catch as catch can situation, where the events are unfolding and I have to use my skills and my anticipatory, you know, instincts to capture what is going on. Here I have an exhibition titled 1979. It's deliberate because I'm exhibiting 30 photographs taken 30 years ago when I was in my 30s. Now, it is not supposed to be a definitive visual coverage of 1979. All the same, it is my own documentation of important events that happened in Nigeria in 1979. So the exhibition basically is in three parts. The first is the coronation ceremonies of the Oba of Benin, who unquestionably is one of the biggest kings in Africa. The dynasty is more than seven centuries old. The top two um, images you know, show the same type of synergy. The musicians we saw earlier on are singing and the women are like reacting to them. For me, the most successful is this one here, where you could actually see not only the eye contact between the lead musician and, this, and the lady dancing, you could feel the interaction, the energy that is being generated by the, by the scene. The series I took from the housewarming um, celebration are all from an aerial you know, perspective. I mean, it wasn't deliberate, but when I got to the venue, I discovered that to shoot these scenes from an aerial perspective, in other words, looking down on them, created another type of form and rhythm. Here we have what I call drums sun tanning. The drums being put out in the sun to, uh, to get taught. So I just felt it, it looked like they were, being, they were being given a sun tan. I'm fascinated by them. You know, more so as I had a stint documenting sports. Uh, my, um, my ambition, is to be able to capture a piece of movement or an element of movement that will in itself tell the entire story of the sequence of rhythms. So it's a question of getting it right, you know, getting into the rhythm of the dancers and musicians and anticipating when they will make that representative move. And here I'm quite satisfied with this photograph because you could see the flow flow of the rhythm, you know, and I think for the kind of exercise I try to carry out is quite successful. Next to them is uh, also another study of rhythm. I call this dance entrance. It's two elderly ladies coming into the venue, they've heard the music and they are reacting to it and again they're able to freeze the movement and you can feel the rhythm in them. I a continuation of my search to freeze rhythm, but at the same time give the viewer a feel of the rhythm. Here I have a group of women at a social function dancing. You can feel the concentric movement because they are dancing as a group. And I think I was able to get that feel of the, you know, the interrelationship their movements as a group. This photograph was taken on the 23rd of March, 1979. It shows the new Oba of Benin on the day of his coronation, stepping out into public view. What is fascinating about this photograph is that he's wearing an all choral outfit, a choral crown, a choral dress, coral shoes. 
Now this costume has been in the Bini royal family for well over three centuries because the Portuguese introduced coral to the Bini and the Obas Palace is the biggest repository of corals in Nigeria. Of course, we also see his staff of office called the Ebe. So really, it's the first public outing of the Oba of Benin. After 13 years of military rule, 1979 provided an opportunity for Nigeria to go back into civilian rule. So like I said, the heavyweights of Nigerian politics, Awola War, Azikiwe, and Shagari, I documented them campaigning. Awola War is regarded as one of Nigeria's most cerebral you know, politicians. What I think I've succeeded in doing here is to, is to document a political culture that is lost. Now, this is a situation where you had a political leader who presented a 12-page manifesto to his you know, to the electorate, which is something that doesn't happen now. And of course, he says there is a man with a vision blessed with a mission blessed with a vision. Next is his arch political rival, the great Zeke of Africa. In his own case, he was accused of not paying his tax. So he held what he called the World Press Conference. And as we noticed, he's here presenting a prepared speech. In other words, I'm trying to show that there was an intellectual aspect of politics 30 years ago. We now have the man who eventually turned out to be president. For me, this is a study in humility. This is Shehu Shagari, who event two months after this photograph was taken became Nigeria's president in 1979.